The government says they've done their job when it comes to the rollout of legalized marijuana, but the websites are already selling out products. Winnipeg police have issued the first ticket just one hour after legalization. More have come for consuming cannabis in a moving vehicle. There are still outstanding debates on whether or not to pardon people with past pot convictions or to expunge the record. So has the government got the big rollout right? Let's bring in MPs on this. Ari Farani is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Justice Minister. Marilyn Gladue is the Conservative Health Critic. And Don Davies is the NDP Health Critic. Uh, good to see all of you here. And I'll start with Marilyn Gladue off the top. You were openly against this. Your, your party was, and, and you, of course, were. Now that it's done, now that you've seen the reaction, are you still opposed to the legalization of cannabis? Well, I think whether you're for or against it, I think all Canadians are still very concerned about the lack of information that's out there and the misinformation that's gone to the young people. A lot of young people are not informed about the permanent health conditions that they will have um, if they smoke marijuana under the age of 25, you know, addiction, anxiety and depression. And I don't think they've been adequately informed about not toking and driving. And so that's certainly a concern and public safety is probably uh, no, the number one concern. The other thing is confusion with uh, a lot of provinces, 13 different sets of rules, different municipal rules. People aren't always informed about what is allowed and what's not. All right, well, Don Davies, your party supported the idea of it. What's your issue and how it's gone? Well, first of all, I just want to say that uh, I'm going to do something unusual in politics and congratulate the government for, I think, rolling out a, a courageous policy that's long overdue. It's been 46 years since the Ladane Commission recommended this uh, the, on, on public policy grounds. So I, I congratulate the Liberals for, for finally legalizing cannabis. I think that Canadians have been far ahead of politicians on this for a long time. Now, there are a lot of issues to be done. I think people recognize that this was a, a first step and it's an incremental one. So I think we're going to be looking at now within a year the legalization of edibles and other concentrates. We have the issue of pardons to deal with and my party believes very strongly that um, the, the impact of criminal records on Canadians, particularly young Canadians over the last you know, number of decades has been very, very harmful and we're looking for the government to expunge those records because they shouldn't have been there in the first place and, and we're going to keep working for that. Uh, Ara Ferrani, that's been the bigger, let me just pick up on that. Again, the NDP are going to say, you've gone all, to all this trouble to legalize and to pardon. Well, pardon still exists on the record, just in a separate category. You're the uh, Parliamentary Secretary, the Justice Minister. Why not just expunge the records? So, so first of all, thank you, Don, for those comments. And you're right that that, that kind of uh, nonpartisan behavior is unfortunately too rare. When we look at an expungement, which is a very significant gesture, we look at whether the old policy was itself somehow a violation of hu human rights or discriminatory. That's why we expunge the records that were created for people who were convicted of crimes for simply being LGBTQ2, right. people who were same sex uh, in same sex couples. There is no basis for saying that being a same sex couple should have ever been crim criminalized in. Canada. You can't make the same argument in this context. What we're doing now is we're shifting to a different type of regulatory model. Marijuana is not a, it's not a uh, healthy substance. It's a substance that needs to be controlled, restricted and regulated. It was done using a criminal law power in the past. Now we're using different tools right. to do it currently. Marilyn Gladue, um, it's interesting. I want to get your, your comments, Marilyn, on, on your leader, Andrew Scheer, was talking to my colleague Don Martin. And he wasn't clear that if your, if your party was elected in the next election and becomes the government, that he said, you know, we're going to look at the results of this. And he wouldn't say if he would reverse, decriminalize this, or even make pot illegal again. What's your view? Would you, if you were to become the government, would you let it stand now and just let it be legal with your reverse policy? Well, I mean, it'll be very difficult to uh, reverse the legalization because, you know, provinces and municipalities have put their rules in place. There's businesses that have been started yeah. and Canadians are invested. So I, I think it's unlikely, but certainly uh, we'll listen to what Canadians have to say. What, what the Conservatives will do uh, sorry, is so come just, with a plan. Just to be clear, okay, so unlikely you'd reverse it. I, I would say. Okay, so what would you do differently? Well, okay, so uh, first thing is public education. Uh, the young people are really uninformed about the harms to them. We have to fix that. And then I think uh, when it comes to uh, 13 different systems and all these different rules, um, there, there are best practices. And we'll be learning that as we see the consequences. We know that in other jurisdictions, they saw a doubling of traffic deaths. Um, some... Uh, 
rules will be better implemented than others. And so we'll be looking to see how can we protect the kids? How can we protect the public? And how can we um, address and enforce the rules that are in place? We're already seeing packaging um, that's coming out that doesn't comply to the, the regulations and the spirit of the, the legislation. So Just responding to what Marilyn was just raising, I mean, in terms of the public information, we've put $100 million over the last year into public education. We sent out circulars to every household in this country. Yeah, There's no doubt that, that young people need to be educated about the this. Is but, not but, help. but the point is, is that Marilyn, you're identifying a very critical issue, which is about young people understanding things. We learn from those other jurisdictions that you're mentioning. Colorado legalized edibles when they legalized dried cannabis, and that resulted in a, a very high number of people reporting to emergency departments for overdose problems because the edibles, it's much harder to understand how much you're intaking, the impact it has upon you. That's why we're doing this in a methodical way. We're doing it slowly. We're educating people about, about the concerns about it. But the bottom line is, is I think what you're seeing, uh, Evan, is that even the conservatives aren't willing to retract from this because they know the same statistics you and I know and your viewers know, which is that Canada had the highest rate in the entire Western world of marijuana usage amongst young people. The status quo was not working. We okay. had to change the system, and we took the step to change it, and it's still showing the results. Don Davies, what's if, your if concern may, going if, forward? I just want to comment briefly on expungement. The difference between expungement and pardons is what this government is doing, Evan, is that they're taking a law and they're changing it. Pardons exist for every other criminal code offense that remain criminal code offenses. You get pardons after good behavior, but it's predicated on the fact that these are still offenses. It's an unusual thing in a country when a country actually takes a criminal offense and says that's no longer legal. And that's why there's a basis for expungement, because we know that criminal records do a lot of damage to people. They affect your employment, they affect your ability to travel, they affect your ability to volunteer on a, on a local kid's uh, sports team. So it never should have been illegal to begin with. We all know that, and I think this government should do the right thing and expunge records. The debate continues. I gotta leave it there. Ara Ferrani, Marilyn Gladue, and Don Davies, thanks so much for joining us.